Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Bloodstained. I would like everyone to bear in mind that this game is a lot easier when you, uh, or a lot harder, and it's supposed to be a lot harder, when you actually play on the real game difficulty mode, which is uh, veteran mode. The stage is fantastic. I hate these things, though. So I just shaved for the first time since, like, the start of quarantine. And granted, I'm recording this a little in advance. Only a little. So I don't know, like, how close we actually are to the start of quarantine. And in fact, I don't know if uh, quarantine is still extending from where I am, but, uh, yeah, I've just shaved for the first time in a year. Like, shaved completely back to bare. Gotta say, I look like crap. I uh, gained a lot of weight over quarantine, and I've been, like, relying on... I've been relying on my beard to, like, hide my fat. And now that it's gone, it is not holding up its end of the bargain. I don't think I've ever been through this path before. Oh, hold on. What's all this then? Well, it's a big... By the way, yes, taking damage as Jebel will uh, force you to... So, will this kill me? I guess it wouldn't be good to, like, try it. So in the original, sorry, I just realized I wasn't talking for like a minute there. In the original Castlevania 3, which as I've mentioned many a time, this is the one most heavily based on. Uh, there's a character named Grant, the thief. As you may have gathered, he's a, a thief. And uh, he's just a little less useful. It's just kind of a shame, considering that, like, he's not even in the anime. <laughs> and granted, part of that is because in the game, you have to choose between your party members. You can only get some of them. You can't necessarily get all of them. This painting boss killed me more than a couple times. Uh, it's because if she completes her animation, she just does an instant kill to whoever's standing there. Yeah, shave since the first, like, since the very first part of quarantine. Oh, neat. So all these enemies actually also return in Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. Recall that this is Curse of the Moon. Oh, man, really? And originally, Curse of the Moon was actually supposed to come out first. Nope, sorry. 
Ritual of the Night was supposed to come out first. But because this game's a lot easier and simpler to make, it got completed way sooner. Just because, like, that's the way it goes, you know? Of course, the game that makes, like, has a so much less the processing power would come across easier. What am I doing over here? Yeah, so the wind is blowing me. Or pushing me, as it were. As far as I know, um, catching the combat cross or, uh, nope. Oh man, this sucks, dude. God, that is such a great way to deal with them. Sorry, I just really wanted to feel secure. I just feel very unsafe when ascending here, you know? So hey, a whole bunch of uh, life abilities. And uh, weapons to and weapons. So this is one of uh, Alfred's spells. I'm not entirely sure how to use this. It calls down a lightning bolt. But uh, that's an example of what in the biz we call a boss fountain, which is where they give you a whole bunch of uh, goodies so you don't get your ass whooped by a boss. They're necessary in a lot of games of this era. Oh, I almost got really caught up in that. If you get knocked off the platform here, the only way to save yourself is to either transform into a bat with Gebel or die. So there is only one way to save yourself. So yeah, that's how it works. Crouching is one of the only ways to ensure that you don't get whooped off. This guy's so difficult. Because he's so fast, you know? Oh, hello. There you go. So he actually doesn't have a lot of health. Uh, seizure warning, by the way. He doesn't actually have a lot of health. He's just so damn quick. Right, yeah. There's only a very small window where you can escape that. Hey, we get to see his... Uh, Jebel's fucking stage clear animation. Nice. 
We're going a lot at a decent pace. I might actually take less time to beat this than I thought. Oh man, I'm so used to fiddling with my mustache whenever I'm waiting for something to happen, and it's just not there. It's wild, dude. All right. So all of these enemies return, by the way, in Ritual of the Night, including the bosses, and all of the characters as well also return. Sorry, I went on two tangents earlier, and I just kind of forgot about both of them. Yeah, so um, some of the NPCs or allies in this game will be sh show up as NPCs or enemies in the other games. So yeah, that always drops the lightning scroll no matter what, and only Alfred can pick it up. This glove... I th think it just increases strength permanently, yeah. So shortcut up that way, but down here... Oh, okay, it doesn't look good. Whoops. I was trying to turn back so I could get that thingy. Perfect. So, like, all the classic Castlevanias consist of a Belmont fighting Dracula. But, like, they stopped doing that really early. And I, I really feel like that's kind of weird. Because, like, the last one that's really like that is, I think, Castlevania Dracula X. And by the way, if that just isn't such a Japanese title. It bears noting that in Japan, these games are called Devil's Castle Dracula. Because Dracula, like, is the devil. It's a long story. Initially, he was just the monster villain. Like, initially, he was just the actual, like, Dracula. And he was, like, also Vlad the Impaler. Huh, I don't know how to get through there. But yeah, initially he was just regular old Dracula and Vlad the Impaler. And then as the movies went on, or as the movies, as the games went on, he became, like... Hmm. Perfect. So we're I dealing with um, classic mode or veteran mode as it is. I would have to put up with these things killing me but good. Luckily I don't have such weaknesses because I'm in casual baby mode. But yeah, the game featuring um, Richter Belmont, I think, is the last one to properly have, like, a a system of, like, a Belmont goes into Castle Dracula and goes on a linear path through it and kills Dracula. Because the ones after that are all uh, the Metroidvania subtype. I have no idea what those guys want for me to fight them. Scissorman. Yeah, Metroidvanias are... Okay, so you just gotta hit them. You just have to know. Duh, idiot. <laughs> Creepy. Yippee. The good news is about them falling is that at least you know that it's perfect. Oh. 
Boy, did I need that. So yeah, if I wasn't in casual mode, that would have killed me. Oh, brother. Perfect. All right. Cool. But yeah, Richter's actually the first Belmont to have that little slide. And that's why Miriam has it, because she's a reference to the Belmont characters. Oh, these are my favorite enemies. They're so cute, see? Granted, they're not particularly, like, super difficult or anything. They just have very cute designs. Thank you, Miriam, for everything. But yeah, this is a minor spoiler for the game, but there is a version of the game, like a playthrough that you can do that takes place without Zangetsu in it. Because, like, he dies. Or, or something. He doesn't die. It's worse. Long story short, um, that's why Miriam and Zangetsu's roles are very similar. Because as I've said, both of them take Trevor's role from the original Castlevania of being like big tough tankman and dealing the most physical damage. And they have different ways of going about it, but like, yeah, they both do it, you know? So yeah, the shortcut's this way, but you have to get through that guy, and you either have to take damage or have something like that, which stops all of it. Nah. Thank you, Miriam. Jesus. Oh, this is a classic. So... There's a very good AVGN um, video where he talks about all the Castlevanias and this implausible hallway where there's two axe-throwing knights and there's Medusa heads always coming at you and that's what this is a reference to. So, like, there's always Medusa heads so they're always moving... Can you see the mouse? I don't actually know. But they're moving up and down across the screen in the sine wave. And then you also have um, the knights attacking horizontally and they all take a lot of hits. I'm in casual mode, so they have less health, but that's what that hallway's a reference to. It's from Castlevania 1. This boss is called Bloodless. She's one of my favorites. She has interesting little mechanics involved with her boss fight. So you can sit on these umbrellas and avoid ground hazards like that. When she does that little blood rain, you get under the umbrellas. Sorry, I'm a little unfocused. Jesus. I might actually die on this boss. I've actually been doing surprisingly well, considering that, like, I'm not amazing at, like, NES games. Oh, that's how you do it. That makes sense. Who has... Okay, you have the most health. Oh, Jesus. Alright, switching to you then. Hey, we get to see Alfred's animation this way too. So yeah, naturally, pig reference to Elizabeth Bathory. 
it's basically required by law that if you have a vampire girl, she's either a reference to Carmilla or Elizabeth Bathory. Um, this map is also a reference to Castlevania 1. In Castlevania 3, you have a map. How it works is... Um, The map is how you choose which way you go. You like this almost like... This is like such not bloody tears. And also such not like vampire killer. <laughs> nah, I don't want that. Oh shit. Guess we're sacking him off. So yeah, something that's actually really uh, rather kind is that you don't lose a life until every single character is dead in veteran mode. Shit. Fine, I guess we're doing this. I don't know why I'm so... I know why. It's because I didn't sleep. I've been sleeping really poorly. And so, like, I woke up at 6 a.m. today and just couldn't get back to sleep, so I just got up and decided to start recording stuff. I don't know if all of those are shared across all characters. Those upgrades, or if it's just the character who picks them up. Either way, it's fine. I kind of like having Miriam be maxed out. Oh, this is such a beautiful level. Like, look at the color palette here. It works the best with um, Zangetsu, I believe, just because of how he looks. Um, but Alfred's palette isn't a slouch either. The yellow is nice. So if you take damage as the bat, you actually get taken out of bat form. Hmm. See, the skeletons always port to shortcuts, but I guess I don't have the ability to take any now. Oh, brother. Uh, so this isn't a Castlevania thing. Oh. Really wish I could have taken that shortcut. This isn't a Castlevania thing. This is from Mega Man. There are these, like, teleporting blocks that work like that. So you have to know where the next one's going to come out and be ready for it. Oh, man. Ah. It's so unsafe. Please go away, dog bird ball thing. All right, cool. Nice. Oh, fuck. I've actually been playing it for a while. I should pause it. I think I will. Um, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys later. Uh, this has been Bloodstained, Curse of the Moon. Really good game. Buy it on Steam. Buy the other ones on Steam. See you guys later. Bye.